finally tonight here, the grace, the giving, America strong. In Mayfield, Kentucky, volunteers helping in any way they can. In Bowling Green, Kitty Williams holding the message, the best place to be is together. And we went to meet the first responders, the doctors treating the victims, the smell of candles when they arrived at the hospital. An extra level of surreal was the smell in the ER because one patient would smell like Christmas cookies and the other one would smell like cinnamon and it was, it was uh, really bizarre. Rescuers were saying they could smell the vanilla candle in yeah, the air. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, at one point, gingerbread flooded through the yeah. ER and we realized we had more patients coming in. So it was... It's unbelievable. Yeah. Those doctors did not give up. And one of the patients, Jim Douglas. How you doing, Jim? You'll remember he told us he was trapped at the very bottom of that twisted steel at the candle factory. The rescuers forming a human chain to pull him out. What would you say to them now? Well, I want to say thank you. I mean, all of them, uh, I just thank God every one of them was there and from nobody else for me, you guys. Thank you. You don't even know me, and you risked your life because it was dangerous, every one of them. And I, I truly appreciate it. And the grandmother, Tina, huddled over her grandchildren, three years old and 14 months. And the sign on part of the wall still standing, Amazing Grace. You gotta believe. There's so many people that lost their lives, and I'm just thankful. That's why I tell everybody, I said, you know, we're thankful that we still have our lives. We can rebuild. We were so moved by their strength, and we'll stay on it. Good night.